Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, lecturer in computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to display two measures in a bar line graph in Excel 2010. So before we learn how to do this, let's look and see what our final destination is in this particular exercise. I have over on the left hand side three columns representing some monthly figures from January to December for revenue, uh, these are in thousands, and for shipments, figures that are in hundreds. And what I'd like to be able to do is to have a single chart showing both of these values. I could have separate charts, of, uh, but I'd like to have a single chart so as I can compare shipments to revenue visually. And over here I have the ideal. I've got my revenue figures on down along the left hand side here, my monthly labels down across the bottom, and over on the right hand side I've got figures representing shipments. My bars in blue represent my revenue figures, okay, so we can see the trend throughout the year. And my line here uh, shows the shipments. I mean, we can see here it follows closely trend-wise to my revenue figures, as I would expect. So how do I draw a chart like this? Well, before we do that, let's check and look at our original data. Here I have, once again, the same data as we've just been looking at. I've got my months, I've got revenue figures, and I've got my shipments figures. And one of the problems we have with a, a chart like this is that the scales are very, very different here. My revenue figures are in uh, thousands, in five figures, and my shipments are just in hundreds. So let's draw a chart first of all. Well, in Excel, it's fairly straightforward to draw a simple chart. Just select all my data, including all the headings. Choose the insert ribbon on the top. Select the column chart option. And just select a 2D uh, column, cluster column option here. And that will create my simplest chart using my data. Now my chart here is showing me in blue, uh, in blue bars, uh, figures representing revenue. And we can see the trend uh, going up from the beginning of the year to the middle of the year, falling off before going up towards the end of the year. So that's useful information uh, that I can visualize from my data. The shipments, on the other hand, well, they're barely visible on this chart. If you look carefully, you'll see uh, brown bars representing my shipments data. And they're small because it's showing up in hundreds rather than in thousands. So what I'd like to be able to do is to add another axis up here, y-axis here, representing the shipments. And to do that, I need to format my series down here. So click on the uh, shipments, one of the brown columns for shipments. It might take you a go or two to do it because it's quite small. Once you've selected it and the select icons appear, right click and choose format data series. So I'll select that. And in the center here in the series options, I've got a plot series on either a primary axis or a secondary axis. And by default in Excel, the primary axis is selected. You just select secondary axis here and close the format data series window. We can see straight away that we have our shipment data listed over here on the right hand side from 0 going up to 500 and we can see now that we have uh, the red brown uh, bars representing those data being plotted here. Now this is not very tidy. Um, it's very difficult to see, uh, you know, um, for example here in April is the red bar uh, the same as or greater than the blue bar in behind it and the same in December over here. So I'd like to be able to turn the, re the red bars into a red line. So there's two things I want to do to achieve that. First of all I'm going to change the scale here on the right hand side. So select the y-axis here on the right hand side, right click and choose format axis. And I want to be able to move the uh, red line down a little bit on my chart. So I'm going to change the scale, which has a maximum at the moment of 500. I'm going to change that to, uh, let's say, change it to 800. And click on Close. And I can see now that my red bars drop down. Now this might be uh, good enough for, for many of you. Uh, but I want to turn this into a line chart. To do that, just simply select um, any one of the brown red columns here. Right click choose change series chart type and I'm going to select a line chart I'm going to pick out the one here in the middle which is called line with markers select that and choose OK and we can now see that the shipments are represented by the red line here and the revenue is represented by the blue bar so this gives me a bar line graph uh, in Excel so that's how you create a bar line graph in Excel 2010 I hope you found this video useful thank you for your attention